What's up guys? It's Daniela and welcome back to another Daniela show. For today's video, I'm so excited because I'm going to be ranking Disney princes. Now, before y'all say something, my opinion, okay, this is my opinion only, um, but also my opinion is right. You're wrong, you know what I mean? We're going to be going off a three, three step criteria, okay? Number one is looks. Yes, okay, hear me, hear me out. Uh, <laughs> yes, looks don't matter, but at the same time, you're, you're lying to yourself. So, looks, uh, personality, because it's got a, you know, personality and looks, they have to mesh together. You can't have one or the other, it has, you gotta have both. Looks, personality, and how much they added to the story. What, what was their purpose? You know, besides just being there for the princess. So that's what we're really going to dig deep into. This is going to be a very good lesson. Um, a really good character analysis. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have my little list um, where I'm going to be ranking each Disney prince. So let's go through the ranking. In the bottom, it's no flavor. So like, by this, I mean you there's nothing there you know what i mean babes like we can't work with anything that you have so no flavor nothing nada going up a little bit is eh like eh you know what i mean like you just you you were definitely something but not what we were looking for next is you're okay you're not my favorite but like you're still there you're not the worst you're okay second is yes like yes you know what i mean like yes 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 like you're probably one of my favorites but i can't put you in the top tier you know what i mean so you're like yes number one is best most elite disney prince i'm only gonna put one up there so this is gonna be kind of hard because i do have some favorites um and i'm not gonna be biased like i swear like i'm actually gonna go through the criteria and see if they fit it okay so number one starting off strong we have mr eugene um mr flynn Ryder, whatever you want to call him all right let's go through number one looks i mean he has it <laughs> i mean it's there babes like he has the looks personality like he was a little like flirtatious he was funny too i rem i'm remembering he was funny he was funny like okay personalities up there and then how much did he add to the story Oh, I feel like a lot of people would rank him at best most elite Disney prince, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know. He did have character development. Do not get me wrong. Like you know, he was a thief. He was all of this, and then Rapunzel changed him. And like it was, just... you know what? I can't forget it. Nope, we can't rank him on top. We can't rank him on top. The way he cut Rapunzel's hair, I'm not over it. I'm not over it. I don't care. Like there was no excuse for that there's no excuse for that so we're putting you at yes because babes you got it you have it but it's just the way he cut her hair like i can't excuse that behavior like it's just an ex it's unforgivable so i'm sorry i'm sorry flynn uh next <clears throat> who who is this okay i think that's the prince from snow white um little fun fact about me i've never watched snow white like the full movie like was never a fan um yeah just not a snow white fan and that being said <laughs> but based off the looks and based off just snow white the movie in general like if you tell me your favorite disney princess movie is snow white you're lying like get out you gotta be sentenced to jail or something like no that is no We're putting him at no flavor. There is no flavor. Like, it's... No. And I think I saw where, like, Snow White was, like, 13. And he was, like, 16 or something. And he was kissing a 13-year-old. I could be wrong, but I swear I saw that somewhere. Okay, next. Shang. Um, okay, looks, it's there. It's 
there. Body yada 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 yada. Okay, personality. I honestly kind of remember his personality being very dry. If I'm being honest, like he, it was giving very much soldier vibes energy. I know he was the son's leader, but like I don't know. I I feel like we just couldn't really connect with him on a personal level. Like I I just saw the surface of him. I didn't really see the under underneath the surface. Underneath surface, you know what I mean. Oh, babes are kind of lacking there. Um, okay, don't get me wrong, I love Mulan, like, I love the movie, but again, we're not ranking the movies, we're ranking the prince. And the way he just disrespected Mulan after Mulan saved your life, mm -mm. we're gonna put him at you're okay because okay, I feel like some of you guys are gonna be mad, but listen to what I have to say, okay? He has the looks, there's no denying that, but just like the personality wasn't there for me like what like there was nothing really there for me and then what he added to the story like yes at the end they lived happily ever after or whatever but it was just not he's not he wasn't there he's okay like you're okay you're okay you're okay all right next prince eric the little mermaid <clears throat> Another fun fact about me is I'm not a big fan of The Little Mermaid. Prince Eric looks like he's okay. Like, I don't know. People like really hype him up and I'm just like, he's okay. Personality, nothing. There's nothing there. Like, let me know. L let me know in the comments what his, like, what his personality is because there's nothing there. What he added to the story. What did he add? Yeah. Yeah, he added nothing. Like, he was just there serving as Ariel's way to be a human, if that makes sense. You know, like, you're the reason... <laughs> Hold on. He's the reason Ariel gave up her voice. The power that this man has, we're putting you at eh. Because he, he don't get me wrong, he does have a little flavor. I feel like he's not as bad as Snow White's Prince Charming. It just wasn't doing it for me. Like, it was just like, it's like he was there, but we just really didn't get anything from it. You know what I mean? Next, we're moving on, we're moving on. Prince Naveen. He has the looks, babes. The personality. It was funny, like ah! he had a little sarcastic, like humor to him. He could sing. Um, we love Naveen. We love it. I just hate how they were like frogs for like most of the movie. I hate that. I don't know if I want to put him at the best, most elite Disney prince, but he might be. Guys, I'm scared. Okay, you know what? We're moving. We're gonna put him back here because I don't know yet. I do not know yet. At the beginning, he was like a little like snobby, you know what I mean? But then like he turned out to be like so sweet to Tiana and like, I don't know. It's just okay. We're putting him there because I don't know yet. Stop pressuring me. Okay, we're just moving on. We'll get back to that later. Um, Next one. Who are you? Okay, I think this is Sleeping Beauty Prince. Princess Aurora. Um, again, wasn't really a big fan of Sleeping Beauty. It was it was okay. What did what did he what did he get? What's his name? I th oh, I think it's Prince Philip. I I might be right about that. It's Prince Philip. Prince Philip did not give us anything. There's no flavor. There's none. No, we're moving on. The OG Prince Charming. Now. This might be a little controversial because, yes, he didn't have flavor as much. <laughs> he was a little plain, but I feel like he added to the story in a way where, like, okay, so you know, when like during the ball scene and stuff, like. He like paid attention to Cinderella, like he didn't want like any of the other princesses. And like he was set on 
finding Cinderella like get you a man like that like Cinderella just left her shoe there her glass slipper and he literally got the glass slipper and searched the whole kingdom for it like the whole village every like to find her you know what I, like the the standard is Prince Charming like he is the standard okay I'm in between eh and you're okay I like him better than Prince Eric honestly so we're putting him at you're okay I put him next to Shang I don't I don't know but like do you know where I'm coming from like do, do, do you get what I mean that like I feel like he added to the story in which like he showed us what a man is supposed to do for you you know like the standard of a man <laughs> this is a kids movie okay we're moving on um john smith no no um i didn't realize till older till i was older how what's the word how uh problematic pocahontas is like in general the movie um and especially john smithy over here so no flavor next next okay we're down to the last three and these last three i feel like are the hardest okay let's just let's just go one by one aladdin now if you know anything about me i love aladdin like aladdin is my favorite disney movie in general first of all he has the looks but there's no denying that you know what i mean like he has the looks and he had the per he has the personality cute and like shy and quiet but also like very like daring and you know what i mean <laughs> my god okay i can't do this anymore he was the plot of the movie you know what i mean i think it was like mostly his movie so we definitely got to see like that character development and see all of that he did lie to jasmine about being a prince but in his defense, he was a poor rat. Like, he was trying to impress a girl. And I feel like when you're young, you just make mistakes and you just... You know what I mean? Uh, oh, this is hard. I know I said I was going to be biased. But babes. We're, okay, we are putting Aladdin... Okay, we're moving on. I'm gonna leave Aladdin and Naveen at the last two. We're gonna go on to Mr. Beast over here. Looks... I would say he didn't really have the looks. <laughs> Personality, he was a horrible, treacherous human being. I, and I do love Beauty and the Beast, and I, I, loved, I do love his character. We're gonna put him at yes, because he like yeah he learned his lesson there was a lesson to be learned there and he did it uh when he turned into a human looks got better for sure these two are so hard guys this is so hard let's list some pros and cons right so aladdin I, they both have the looks and the personality i feel like oh i feel like naveen does have a little better personality though okay you know what? I'm I'm just gonna stop being biased. I'm gonna stop being biased. And Aladdin, <laughs> we're gonna put him as second best and the best most elite Disney prince is Prince Naveen. And that is the list because he has the looks, no doubt about that. The personality is there funny sarcastic witty ooh, witty the character development was there like it was all it's all there this is the list this is the correct ranking and if you disagree you're wrong all right thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it this was so fun to do let me know if you want me to do like more ranking videos but yeah thank you for watching make sure to subscribe like and comment do all that follow me on everywhere and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace and love.